Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Night Spectrum here. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing um a quick a quick uh, tips and tricks video on how you can get like you can farm a lot of mythic cards up to seven plus like seven or more mythic cards per week. These are the methods that I use to like amass six, seven, or even eight. Sometimes if I if I'm lucky, mythic cards um per week by purely farming no gambling method in the store involved it's just pure farming but um easy free to play methods that i use so yeah now more than ever card um mythic cards are more important because not because we're getting like a lot of premium comic cards from the um from the premium uh comic card chest from this premium comic card chest so every like one every six week you can pull one of these because you get you get these tokens in gbr and also in the future pass so yeah so not only do you need mythic cards to reroll the premium cards that you get but you need uh, mythic cards to also craft them so that you can um push your account higher for higher end level content such as world boss legend and dispatch missions and all that to get the higher stats so yeah these are the methods that i use to form uh, like five six seven eight mythic cards per week depending on my luck so the first one you already know it's dimension me shop it's the support shop you you go into upgrade item you have these chests here normally per day you can pull around six of these chests i have amassed enough tokens because i was saving up my tokens dude for a video like this so yeah you can you can pull these chests like six times per day and the drops from this are pretty good i'm gonna do some um some drops here so you see i got a four star card there which is not bad at all so yeah another four star there that one was a bit unlucky this is unlucky wow this this is awful now so yeah this is four star there yeah, we got lucky, we got a 5 star here, so you, you see what I mean, and yeah, we can keep going, we, we're gonna be pulling more in a bit, first of all, I'm gonna be showing all the methods, second method is, you go into the shield shop, make sure you have upgraded your, your antimatter generator to 15, so that you can farm a maximum of these pink matters, and then you go into produce, into upgrade items, and then you spend, like, the, the pink matter, with phoenix feathers and debris and you can get comic cards and here as well you can get a one to four star comic card and if you get lucky you get jackpot you get a five star card and the drops here as well are really great as you can see i i got one four star card here and a double four star card here so three four star card in just like one pull of um of like 10 times pull so yeah, you can easily farm this like two, three times per day, depending on how often you're checking in to collect your pink matter. And also, um, yeah, so moving on, there's also the Alliance shop. In the Alliance store, you can easily get um, like this. I buy this every day, a three to, three to six star card. I usually get four, four star card and five star card the most i i, I once got a six star card but that's very rare but three four five is already pretty good it's a good boost and then next up the next um method is to play abx so every time you play abx and you reach 600k you get a four to six star um comic card so that adds up as well so the next uh method is to do your um, dimension, your story mode, your future ends here. So yeah, when you combine these fragments, you have a chance to get premium cards. Yeah, I get mad shafted on this first fragment because as you can see, I have like 30 of the other, 14 of this one, but only I have zero of, of uh, the first fragment. So yeah, that's just my luck. And in this uh, chest, you see you have five star card and six star card, but also premium cards. They recently added premium cards with um, the, the 6th anniversary update, which is insanely good. So make sure you're farming your um, story fragments every day. Even if you do not have a recommended characters, make sure you're farming it because you might get lucky. Even if you do not have the recommended characters and you, you clear it without dying, you still have a 25% chance. As you see here, you have a 25% chance if all your members survive right so it still it still has some value so you might get lucky eventually and push and uh, yeah 
get the cards that um, you need and in this patch as well this patch is another great ma another great game mode to collect cards because like i usually repeat sector 7 1 like 30 20 to 30 times per day i leave it on repeat and i go do my chores and when i come back i usually come back to two four star card like or two five star card and or even sometimes i do get lucky with mythic cards so what you need to do you just I was just collecting my rewards you just go to 7-1 or or even lower stages i think you can you have comic cards let me just verify yeah you have comic cards so even lower stages and then you just do auto progress you set a number of t amount like i usually do 25 to 30 to to increase my chances so you can do like 20 like 20 and then you press start and then you just let this let this repeat and yeah the other method i use is in timeline by that i don't participate in the in the in this um challenger league voting bullshit for me this is this is just not worth it it's just a complete waste of time to wait at the last minute to see who's leading yeah there's too much too much shit involved so i just i just buy the glory chest this one and i usually get lucky so let's see if we get lucky here so yeah, this one was uh, a bit unlucky. I usually get like two or three five star cards, but we did get two four star cards, which is um like um uh 20 20 percent of the way to a five star card, which is already pretty good in itself. So yeah, these are a few of the methods that I use to um easily get like five or six or seven mythic cards per week so each week you'll be farming um five to six mythic cards so that's one star of crafting like every single week so let's suppose if you start crafting your card in in like and in six weeks you'll be totally done with it so one star per week six weeks you're done and for five cards you know like in around six months you'll be done with all your crafting right in a bit more than six months so yeah and also i ended up pulling a good card finally from the um from a premium card token chest yeah i pulled the black panther card which we're gonna be crafting and i i re-rolled it i got a decent roll it's 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 a good roll so i'm just gonna stop right here it's five quality so we're gonna be crafting this in a while so first let first let's get some some cards to to yeah to craft it with so let's go let's go let's go let's go break down our bank here and spend all these tokens four star card pretty good Mm, I got a was that a five star or a six star? I didn't see that. I think that was a five star. Let's let's just verify that's a star lord card, right? I was too too um anxious there and I just pressed that a bit too fast. So it was a a five star card, right? With star lord card. So yeah, that's pretty good. Let's keep going here. Kind of card. And that was bad. Five star card again, pretty good. Bad, a four star card, I think we did get there, but it's okay, four star, nothing. Two four stars, pretty good, nothing. One four star, okay. Wow, this is awful. This is by far the, the worst chest I've ever pulled. Four star, not bad. Four star again. Four star again. Three four stars. Pretty good. Nothing. Wow, this is just bad right now. One four star. Another four star. Nothing. One four star. Pretty good. <clears throat> this is just awful. Awful. One four star. Four star. That was six star, right? So we got lucky there. I'm, I'm getting too impatient here, and I'm just skipping. But yeah, we'll get back to we'll get back to that in a bit when we check our inventory. I think we pulled a six star there, which is pretty awesome. Four star here, nothing. Four star here, nothing. Nothing again. Nothing again. Yeah. So this is also part of the RNG. Sometimes you get shafted. Sometimes you get super lucky, you just have to deal with it. So another four star here, four star again, 
Nothing. Nothing again. Nothing again. Wow. Seriously? Four star. Pretty good. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing to see here. Here either. Here either. Here either. Uh, two four stars. Pretty good. Zero. Good. Like no four or above. Whenever you see four star or above, it, it means it's a good pull. Anything below that is just a bad pull. So we get a triple four stars here, which is pretty good. One four star there. Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing here. Four star there. Two four stars here. Nothing here. One six star here, which is awesome. I should have screenshotted that. Uh, that was a mistake. I would have made a pretty good thumbnail. But yeah, we'll see if we get lucky again here. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. This is awful, awful, bad, decent. Okay, so we, uh, we've officially uh, brought down the bank and we did get pretty lucky with like some of the draws. So let's go into our card zone here. Um, yeah, let's upgrade B. So we have 600 um, one stars. So that's 800 K gold to upgrade. Wow. So this is 600 K to upgrade. And this is 500 K. 400 K. And then here it's. 186k so yeah we did end up um we did, we did get um kind of lucky kind of unlucky we do have like how much one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have enough for uh, two 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 crafts so yeah that is also part of a process it's pretty slow but that's okay so we're gonna do this here, craft, see what we get. Okay, blue star, cold resist, so blue star, we are off to a good start here. Oh wow, so I, I have only enough for only one star. Yeah, so that was um miscalculation on my part. So yeah, this is how I easily farm like five plus mythic cards per week. And you can also apply these techniques to um, farm your Form, form faster and craft faster and also there's these bonus missions that you can take advantage of and get cards from here as well you have a five star chest there so yeah hope this video helps you guys to um maximize your card farming and yeah let me know down in the comments if uh, if you know of any other way that you farm cards faster and i hope this video has helped you guys to maximize your card output and yeah, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.